Hey, hey, guys! What's happening? Are you guys ready? Are you ready for some spooky okey kitties tonight? On Valent I mean on Valentine's Day. Sorry, on Valentine's Day, I'm brain. On Halloween, eh? Hello, Nancy Hulk. How are you, honey? That's right, you guys. Ooh! She's a different kind of horny tonight, isn't she? Oh, <laughs> tonight marks number two. Hello, Kelly Staples of our Halloweeny series. That's right. Hello, Sherry Stewart. You cool, you cool little banker. <laughs> so, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Artist Nicole. And I own Artful Nights Maine, and I'm a little cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, and I've decided that for our Halloween series, every time you see me, I will be dressed in costume just for you. Why? Because we're bringing back the spirit of halloween -y, right? Heck with the COVID. Heck with the politics. We having fun, and we're getting down, and we're painting some halloween -y. Remembering the joy, right? All right. So for you guys, right? See this? Ooh, get close because we're doing the Halloweeny kitty tonight. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the first thing that we are going to do with the Halloweeny kitty is everybody is going to grab their page leg. Okay, make sure you find a nice little, make sure you find a nice little mouse in your house. Just kidding. That's what my kitties do. I got three indoor kitties. Let me tell you what, a mouse even tries to get in my house? Mm-mm. My kitty like, mm, I don't think so. All right. So, colors that we're going to need tonight. First thing we're going to need, oh, Jerry Stewart. All right, who else is on here? Who else is saying hi to me? Oh, Anita Robinson. Cool, 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 cool. Hello, Cindy Dunham. Party at Glenda's. Glenda, you naughty little minx. Wanda Smith. Hello, Miss Wanda. Paulette. I got my contacts in tonight, girl. Kanokio. Kanoko. Kanokioko? Like Pinocchioko. <laughs> Honey. All right. So first thing you guys are going to need tonight, you're going to need some black paint, okay? And this, I would go a full tablespoon. Ow! Where what was the thunder? Oh. <laughs> okay, second color we're going to need, we're going to need some white. Not that much white tonight. You guys are probably going to need about half a teaspoon. Okay, we're gonna need some orange. Orange, you glad you used orange. All right. Hi, honey. My son just got home. Look, he tried to sneak in. <laughs> well, it was better than going through the front line. <laughs> He's your dad. <laughs> He's so handsome. All right, so we're gonna need about a teaspoon of orange. You guys are going to need about, how much yellow? Nah, we'll go with half a teaspoon of yellow. Okay? Now, the cool thing about this painting is you guys can paint your, your kitty's eye whatever color you want to. I am going to go with that golden eye. It's piercing. Right? Not like my son, but it's piercing. Okay? And then we're going to use a little bit of red. You guys are probably going to need about less than a half just a of red okay and then our final color you guys are going to need is your green your green green machine about half a teaspoon of green i love the purple people eater <laughs> all right let's look at these colors we've got white black orange yellow and green, green, you haunted machine. That's right, everybody. Okay, so 
first thing we're going to do for the Halloween kitty, everybody want, thank you, Sue, I like that. Wanda was my BFF with me last week. Cool. Um, okay, so first thing we're going to do is everybody is going to grab their big kahuna. See that guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Choose your weapon. Cool. Okay. So tonight, we are going to call this guy. Oh, let's see. How about, uh, how about, uh, woo, we getting down on this Halloween song. Okay, we're going to call this guy Eddie Munster. Okay, Eddie Munster. Turn that down a little bit. And the first thing that you guys are going to do with this painting, you guessed it, you are going to paint your entire canvas black. Okay? Just like this. Now, like I was telling you, can you buy black canvases? Absolutely. But you know what? Why well, spend the money when you can paint them black? They cost a lot. So just take that whole canvas. And we are going to paint it black, just like this. And make sure when you guys are painting it black that you are not putting a thick coat on there, okay? Black is a beautiful color in some ways. What it loves to do, it's a very naughty color. When you're mixing, you just have to use just a tiny bit, okay? But when we're doing this, the thing about black, the reason why we love it is because it covers everything, right? That's right. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. Mm -hmm. You got that extra little bump in your rump. You put a little black on it, smooth it out. Ah. <laughs> That's right. But with the canvases, too, it will totally cover that canvas with just a tiny little bit. That's the beauty of it, okay? And as you guys are going along, you're painting your top, your sides, and your bottoms. Because nobody wants to be able to see that white on the side. But we never paint our bottoms first. Why not? Sharon Viola Morton, are you out there? Because you get a sticky bottom. And nobody likes a sticky bottom. Except for me. I like a sticky bottom when I'm trick-or-treating on Halloween. Means I worked hard for my candy. <laughs> okay? So you guys are going to paint the whole canvas black just like this. That's what I'm talking about. Spooky, ooky little canvas. All right, and when you're all finished, because I'm fast, I'm like fast lightning. Look at that. Ying, 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 ying. When you guys are all finished, what you're going to do is you're going to smooth out that paint so you can get a nice thin coat on there. See that? Ooh, black lady, black magic. Okay, and then, oh, I think that's a black magic song. <laughs> Let's see. I think it is. All right. Then what you guys are going to do is you're going to take Eddie Munster, all right, and you're going to put him in the bath water. You're going to give Eddie a bath. That's right. Give Eddie a bath. He likes that. And then you can do one of two things, okay? You can give it the flat doodle that I have so famously termed the flat doodle. You're going to flap it in the air like you just don't care. Or you can be a Cheetosaurus Rex, like myself, and grab a hair dryer. Okay, tonight I'm going to be lazy and do that. So, here we go. Hold on. There we go. And if you don't have any black paint on your hands, you're not a real artist. 
Oh, black pen. <laughs> change and normally I would say oh my gosh right no be tough work out those flying squirrels but that hair dryer is kind of nice <laughs> if I'm being honest all right who else is out there hi Lisa Mar how are you Susan Chamness you just did your beautiful fundraiser for the Dempsey Center God love ya who else is out there? You guys give me the big shout out. Hello. Oh, all right. So, beautiful. Now that you guys have this gorgeous, dry, black canvas, I see a lot of you went off because you were drying your canvas. That's all right. You take it on. Utilize that pause button, okay? That's a good feature. Katie Baum Vashon. Hi, honey. How are you? Doris Calabres. Hi, Doris. Debbie Doe. Hi, Debbie Doe. Have you met your buck yet? <laughs> Lucy Lockwood McKenzie. Hi, honey. How are you? Michelle Ann Daigle. Hey, sweet sister. I got another one. Come on, come on. Okay, now that we have this beautiful dry canvas, okay, what you guys are going to do next is I'm going to have everybody grab their, nah, let's grab the little one. We're going to grab the little one, okay? Everybody will grab their little brush. And what we're going to call this one is we're going to call this one Elvira. Why? Because she's got very nice cleavage, if I'm really, if I'm being honest, okay? All right. <laughs> Hello, Miss Melissa. Heather Yamaguchi. Oh, my God, sweet baby. All right, you put those little ones to bed, okay? And what you're going to do with your little Elvira is you're going to pick your favorite um color for the cat's eye so whatever color you're going to go with you're going to go with yellow you choose that color okay green you choose that color blue you choose that color joanne murphy hello miss joanne how are you darling yes sir. okay and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have everybody carve out this almond shaped cat eye look at that cat eye can you guys see that so basically, it's fairly flat on the top, and it's rounded out on the bottom. It looks like a big teardrop. Can you guys see that teardrop? Okay. So, no worries. All right, I'm going to walk you through it like stink on poo. So the first thing that we're going to do is you guys are going to give it about, I would say, a good three inches. Okay. And here we go. Here's the top of the eye. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Oochie poochie. Okay. 
there's the top of the eye. And we're going about three inches from the side. Can you guys see that? Yes, sir. Okay. And then we're bringing it around town just like this. And you guys are going to make like an elongated teardrop. Check this out. Okay, it comes around, and you can start at this side if you need to, and you're going to bring her down. Look at that. Oh, spooky kitty eye. Spooky kitty eye pussy. Eye. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks like a teardrop turned sideways. Can you guys see that? And we left about three inches from the side. Can you see that? So about three inches from the side. Michelle Jean, Mesh and Aaron. Mesh and Aaron have paint night. All right, Michelle. I'm good. Already covered in back. <laughs> That's right, Joanne Murphy. I love it. Okay, I'm going to hold this straight so you guys can see how that looks. Okay? Very spooky. All right? And once you guys get that carved out, okay, about three inches from the side, what you're going to do is you're going to grab that medium brush. And tonight, I'm going to call this guy, what am I going to call this guy? Hmm. I'm going to call him Ken. Why am I going to call him Ken? Well, I dated this. I dated Frankenstein once and he looked like a <laughs> Ken and he looked like a Frankenstein. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ken, if you're out there. All right, now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to come in and you guys are going to paint in this eye. You're going to give it the first coat of yellow. Okay? Now, for me, I kind of like that little orangish yellow. All right? So, this isn't going to give me the great coverage that I'm looking for the first time, you guys. Don't even worry. And if it's totally, like, not covering the way you need it to, what you can do is you can always, actually, I think I might do that right now. I'm going to grab a little bit of white on my brush. Okay, I'm going to come in. I'm going to paint this whole eye in white. Okay, and what that will do is that will create a beautiful foundation for you to add that color on. This will be like a nice underpainting of that eye. Can you see that? Doing it right in white, okay? If you've already got color on there, don't worry about it, okay? That white's just your underpainting, okay? There we go. Look at that. Yeehaw. Okay. There you go. And you're all done when your eyeball looks something like this. Like your version of this. Okay. Beautiful. And I might add a little bit more thickness. Okay. Now that I'm looking at this. I'm going to add a little more thickness to this eyeball. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. See that? Now she's done. Okay. Yeah. You can do this kitty eye. I know you think you can, but you can. Trust me. I know. I believe in you. Okay, so there we go. We've got our kitty eye in. Now, the next thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you guys grab your tiniest brush, your little Eddie Munster or Elvira, Elvira with the cleave, okay? So we're going to grab Miss Elvira. You guys are going to come in and you're going to create, you're going to grab a little bit of black, and a little bit of white, 
and you're going to mix them together to create a nice light gray. Okay, let me show you what this looks like. Halloween. All right, you guys got this. Everybody looking, looking, looking. Okay, see this? So there is my nice, like, gray. Like I said, we use a tiny bit of black and a lot of white. Mix them together. See that? Beautiful. Now, what we're going to do with that gray, everybody's going to grab that little bitty brush, okay? And you guys are going to come, probably, I would say, let's look at this. We're probably going to come from, here, yeah, we'll stick that little sucker up there, okay? What we're going to do next is we're going to bring in half of the kitty's nose. Can you guys see that? All right. And we're about, eh, I'd say two and a half inches from the bottom. You guys see that? Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is you guys are going to take your brush. You're going to go up about eh, two and a half inches. We're just going to start with a simple line that looks like this. You see that? Just a simple line that looks like that. Why is there a light shining on my nose? Here we go. Let's see if I can put it. Whoa! <laughs> That's my beam of sunshine. Whoops, I hit my ears off. Oops, oh my gosh, they're falling off me. There we go. That's my halo shining right there. <laughs> Knows me knows I'm so naughty. Oh, let me see if I can put it up my nose. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful. All right. Now, what you guys are gonna do next is you're gonna come around like this. Okay, just like this. You're gonna make a little angle. Boom. See that? A nice little angle, just like that. All right. Ooh, ooh, here comes Michael. Mm, mm. <laughs> There's your angle. And then you're going to come down and you're going to bring in that kitty nose, okay? Here you go. So... There it is, babies. See that? There's the finished product right there. Okay. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. Come on now. Don't you give up on me yet. Good job. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your little brush. You're going to paint in this kitty nose just like this. Okay, paint her in. Whoop. And then, this is the one part of my canvas I don't paint because that's where my thumb goes. But you're going to bring that nose around that canvas and paint it up. See this? Paint it in. That way the kitty's nose is wrapped around the canvas just like this. Okay, look at that. Put it, put a meow meow. Scary little meow meow kitty. Okay, and if you want to give that little nose a bit more of an angle, you can do that. Makes the puss a little more scary. Spooky ooga puss. Okay, just like that. Look at that. Ooh, spooky puss. <laughs> Ooh, you little spooky puss. Okay, so once you get that nose in, okay, you're going to grab your little brush. What I want you to 
to do is take it, dip it in your paint water, and then you're going to squeeze it out until you get the tiniest point. Okay? Tiniest point you can get. See this? Oh, it's just so tiny. Squeeze it out, okay? So it's like you're working with a pencil or a pen with a very sharp tip, okay? And what you're going to do next is you're going to come halfway underneath this eye. Can you guys see this? So you're going to start right about here, and you're going to put a faint gray line all the way underneath this eye. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, a faint gray line underneath that whole eye that stops right about here. Okay, there you go. Can you see that? So you go about halfway up. You're going to go about halfway up to the eyeball, and then you're going to put a nice faint gray line almost to the end of that eyeball. See that? That big old almond. Yeah. Like an almond joy. Nom, 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 nom. Almond joy's got nuts. Mom was doing it. <laughs> Okay, can you guys see that? All right, now, once you guys get that line done, what I'm going to have you do, you're going to create a little bit of a space, okay, about a quarter of an inch, and then you guys are going to do the same thing, see, about a quarter of an inch, you leave that much space. And then you're going to do the same thing on the top. Okay, you're going to outline the top just like this. With that gray. And we go almost to the end. Yeah. Ooh, that kid is looking mighty spooky. Okay, can you see that? So now we've left about a quarter of an inch. We've got a line on top of our spooky ooky kitty eye. And we've got a line on the bottom of our spooky ooky kitty eye. And we've left about a quarter of an inch in between. Can you guys see that? That's right. This doesn't feel like Halloween. -y. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay, now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to take that gray, Okay, <laughs> now, next thing you guys are going to do, you're going to start right at the edge of this nose. You're going to bring it around, okay, and you're going to go all the way down to the edge of your kitty nose. Do you guys see that? Just like that. Okay? Beautiful, you guys. We got those lines, those lines. We got the nose going down to the edge of the kitty. And now, what we're going to do next is you guys are going to take this and we're going to give the kitty some spooky ooky eyelashes. Let me show you what those look like up close. Okay? 
Look at those up close. Can you see those eyelashes above and the eyelashes below? Okay. See those? Oh, so scary. Okay. So what you guys are going to do next is everybody is going to start. I'm going to have you start with the eyelashes on the bottom. All right. And these ones, okay, we're going to start yeah, right about here. And watch this. Boopa. See that? Okay. What do I always tell you? Say boopa. Boopa. Just like making grass. All right. And basically, you put a tiny little bit of pressure on it, and then you release with the ba. Okay, ready? Ba, ba. See? And we're going to make those spooky eyelashes all the way down until we get down to the end. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, see that? Woo! All right, and then as we get towards the end, they're going to start going in a different direction. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, now we got those bad boys going in this direction. Ooh. Yeah. See that? Ooh. Love it. Okay, keep on going. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There we go, you guys. Just like that. Can you see that? Those are the bottom eyelashes. I want to paint this later when the kids go to bed. And then maybe for the kids tomorrow. All right. I love that, Michelle and Daglo. Absolutely, you guys. Bring your, kid, bring your kiddos into this. I'll try to be not naughty. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yes, right. And I may end up doing a kid show for Halloween because, you know, the kids need a lot. They need something to do this year. So I may end up doing a kid show pretty soon. So stay tuned, Michelle and Daigle. Okay, sweetie? All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to give those eyelashes a whirl up at the top, okay? These ones are a little longer. They're a little spikier. Look at that. All right? And we're going to do more than one layer, okay? Look at that. See them? We've got a couple of layers going on there. Boom. Boom. All right? Don't think about these lashes. Don't think about them too much. That's what happens. You know what happens when you think. When you think, you get scared. When you get scared, you make weird choices. All right? So just bang them out, just like this. Boom. Boom. That's right. Okay? The crazier, the longer, the better. Because these ones, you've actually got two layers of these weird, spiky eyelashes. I love it. Makes that key spooky. spooky ooky. Okay. There you go. There's my first two layers of eyelashes. Maybe I'll add a few more on top. Why? Because I feel like it. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. There. Look at that. Okay? So there we go. There are my kitty eyelashes on the top and on the bottom. Those look awesome. Yeah, they do. I hope you guys are, they look awesome at home. Okay? Maybe I'll add a few more going in different directions. All right. Pretty cool so far, isn't it? All right. Now... What I'm going to have you guys do next, once you get the eyelashes in, okay, I'm going to have you come into the nose, all right, we're going to add one, two, three, see that, add just a few markings on that kitty nose, and then, super cool, fun part, is we're going to add the kitty whiskers, 
okay? And the kitty whiskers, I'll show you guys up close, because I, I think that helps to have a visual. The kitty whiskers are gonna come out from under that nose, and then you're just gonna whoosh, 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 okay? They're not all in a straight line. They're wild, they're spiky, they're fun. All right, look at those wild kitty whiskers, because we got Halloween kitty. All right, so on the bottom, I'm gonna start off, again, we're not just doing a few of those cute little cat whiskers. All right, we're gonna start right under that kitty nose. Woo! Actually, this is gonna be a little longer. Okay, there's my first one. This guy's gonna come out, boom! Boom. All right, you got to hit it in two shots. That's okay. All right. Give this guy his due right there. And then I'm going to come in with all these little spiky whiskers in between. Okay. This is a scary, rattly old Halloween cat. He's not like one of those cute little... Uh, there we go. There, check that out. Ooh. All right, can you guys see those? Those rough old scraggly cat whiskers. Yeah. Get it. Halloween, oh, get it. Okay, get right in there and give those whiskers a whirl. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This is the kind of kitty you don't want to see in a dark alley late at night, huh? Oh, the kid get ya. <laughs> I had a kitty like that once. Ooh, scary. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, the kitty would climb my leg and bite me. <laughs> that was when I fed her. <laughs> okay. Now, once you guys get those kitty whiskers in, can you hold that up close? Sure, honey. Which what? Which part, Kelly, are you looking for, baby? Are you looking for the whiskers? Are you looking for the eyelashes? What you looking for, baby? Tell me, tell me. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next, you guys are going to put the eyelashes. All right, baby. There you go. See those? Okay. You can see the bottom ones. The bottom ones go in two different directions. <clears throat> but what we're doing on top is we're giving several layers of spiky eyelashes. Look at that, honey. Okay. We're not just going for a smooth-looking kitty. He's piercing. All right, see that? And we got like three or four layers of those spiky, scraggly eyelashes. Okay? All right, now, what you guys are going to do next is you're going to put down that thing. You're going to grab your, actually, let's grab the big boy this time. Let's grab Eddie Munster. Make sure he is completely cleaned off. You want nothing on him. Because the last thing we used on him was black. All right? The reason why I like my Eddie Munster is because he is, uh, he's nice and soft. So he puts that paint right on there. And what I'm going to do for my eyeball, this is what we're going to do next. We're going to paint in, we're going to give that eyeball a second coat. And what I'm going to do is, for me, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to that yellow. Mm, make it nice and piercing. All right. There we go. Ooh, yeah. All right. So I added a little bit of orange to my yellow. I'm coming in. Here we go with that big boy. And the second coat goes on there like butter. Okay, putting the second coat on that eyeball, bringing her right in. Whoa, now she's getting orange. So fierce. Okay. There we go. 
getting all that whoa kitty eye color in there the second time around it should be covering for you like nobody's business and if it's not okay what i always tell folks the most important thing is you want to kiss the canvas with your brush all right don't uh, don't beat it you want to kiss it gently so lighten up your touch on that brush lighten up that pressure and bring it in baby cakes there you go look at that eye yes sir Ooh. Spook okay now the last thing that i'm going to have you guys do before half time is eh, no i'm not going to have you do that okay once you guys get that second layer in there you've got that eye as bright as you want to you have successfully made it to half time you can make your bladder gladder Go grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine. Um, do an Irish jig. Stretch your bones. And I'll see you beautiful party people in four minutes, okay? Ah, four minutes. But check the time first. Okay, four minutes.
love you, Bubba. All right, you guys. What did he say? How, did I give you enough? Oh, he said 45, 46%, 8, 49. Okay, I almost gave you the full four minutes, I think. I hope so. <laughs> so, um, so this is my normal halftime speech, okay? Piers, it's great. To, and, oh, isn't he so cute, Kelly? I tell you what. It's been years. <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> Well, I'm very sorry about that, honey. You gotta find yourself a lover. <laughs> okay, you guys. So my normal halftime speech, okay? Um, if you have not liked Artful Nights Main on Facebook, Artful Nights Main, ready? Here we go. Artful Nights Main. Yes, here's my product placement dad. Okay, if you have not liked me on Facebook, please do that. Um, that way you guys can very easily. Thank you so much for this. You're welcome, Christy. Christy Van Hyes. You're welcome, sweetie. Oh, I hope so, too. I love these shows. Don't get me wrong. But for me, I am a people person. And all the shows that we are doing right now, they're pretty limited. The ones in the real world, but we are definitely being COVID safe and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, but I miss my people, let me tell you. <laughs> so anyways, um, oh, hi, Connie Foster. Yeah. Um, so if you guys have not, please like Artful Nights Made on Facebook. That way you guys can get updates for all my live shows, all my... <laughs> Honey, uh, Janice Bern Bernardino Kent. Do you know Janice? I was born in San Bernardino, California. <laughs> um, so, um, and also, you guys can um, do these shows every Sunday. You'll get like a notification for the Facebook live shows. So, everybody, like. Artful Nights Made, people. If you guys want to see more Crazy Artist Nicole. And what I tell everybody at halftime, one thing that makes my heart happy, because I am such a people person, is I love when you guys send me, I mean, you guys, you said I got you through COVID, you got me through COVID. When you send me your pictures of your work when it's done, that way I can put a little something to something and... I see, I take everybody's picture, I look at them, I respond to you guys, and um, I always post your pictures on my Facebook page for everybody to see. So, it makes my heart happy if I get a picture from you guys of your finished product. Okay, and other than that, what else was I going to say? Oh, I know what it is. Uh, so, next Sunday, unfortunately, I will not be going live next Sunday because I'll be far, far away. I'm taking a three-day weekend in northern Maine. Hopefully, I'm going to see some moose, and we're going boonie cruising, and I'm so excited. So, next Sunday, we'll not be doing a live show. However, the Sunday after that, which is October 24th, we will be doing a live show, and it's our last Halloween series. I'll have my, whoops, nothing, why? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, this is what my hair looks like when I wake up in the morning. I know. <laughs> I'll have yet another cool-looking costume for you guys, and we'll be painting this. The Halloween kitties, all right? Aren't they cool-looking? Oh, my mouth. Two happy Halloween kitties sitting on a fence, staring off in the Never Never Land. So that will be two Sundays from now on October 24th. All right, you guys ready? I know I'm ready. Right? Oh, we switched from Halloween to Irish music. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> okay. So, the next thing that we're going to do, it looks like my kitty eye is still wet. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give it, I should give it the flap doodle, but I'm going to give it the hair dryer. Because I like it. It's efficient. 
can't. What? Not that. No, give her the full power. Get that pain dry. <laughs> to be smooth and effective and really piercing. What you want is you want to have an eye that is absolutely solid. What I don't like is that I can still see that background through the eye. So what I'm going to do, and if you guys are having this problem too, um, I would give it a third coat. We're going to do that, okay? Because in order for this kitty painting to be effective and amazing and piercing, you want to make sure that whole eye is covered with paint. So here we go. I'm going to add a third coat on there. And if you guys already have that, okay, you already got that going on, then you don't need to add a third coat. But I want to make sure, sometimes paint is funny. And then when the different temperature changes, it does weird stuff. So I'm definitely going to give my eye a third coat because I want it to be, there we go. See that? Okay, that should be good. All right. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is we are going to move on to our pumpkin. And I'm going to be so good to you guys. I'm going to teach you the easiest way. My, it's the Artist Nicole method of pumpkin drawing, okay? So what I'm going to have you do first is you're going to take a little bit of black and you're going to mix it in with about half of your red, not even half of your red. But what you want to do is you want to create a nice burgundy red, a deep burgundy red, okay? And I will show you what it looks like when I'm all done. See this? And there's my burgundy red right there. See right here? Okay. There it is. And with this burgundy red is what we're going to use for the outline of our pumpkin. Okay. So all the lines. All right. Now you guys ready for the easiest pumpkin in the world? That's right, the Nicole method of the pumpkin tree. <laughs> okay, now first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here, okay? And remember, we want to make sure that we're not getting too close to our kitty whiskers. This is the center of your pumpkin, okay? So what you guys are going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to draw a sea cucumber. What, Nicole? Yep, you're going to draw a sea cucumber. Or the top of a rocket ship. I'll show you what it looks like. Somebody even called it a finger. It's kind of a finger. Okay? There we go. Look at that. You're like, I can't see it. I can't see it. Let me get it finished first. Okay, there you go. Can you guys see that? So it's kind of like a finger man. Here, I'm going to put a little bit of lighter red on there so you can see it better. I'm going to lighten it up with a little lighter red so you can see what I'm doing here. Woo! All right, there you go. So there is finger man right there, right in the center. Okay? And that's going to be the center of your pumpkin. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to come in and I'm going to go just like this. Whoop. And we're coming down. We're coming down. Boom. See that? That's the second line of my pumpkin. 
and what I do on one side, I have to do on the other. So I'm gonna come off the center of that pumpkin line. Whoop. And we're gonna do this. Same thing, we're gonna give it another line, another little section. Okay, you guys see that? There he is, here comes our emerging pumpkin. Okay, so we've got one on one side and one on the other. Now, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add another section over here. Okay. I did end up going over a little bit of those whiskers, that's okay. Okay, see that? There's my third section. So I started out with the middle section of my pumpkin. I added this side, I added this side. Now I'm adding another side off there and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And it looks like that's gonna go right off the page and I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm all right with that. Okay, see that section of the pumpkin? Nice. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in the back off here. See that? See that one line back there? Okay, that's one hump and Sally the camel's gonna have two humps. Woo! Look at that. Okay, can you see that up close? So, there we go. I'll angle it so you guys can see those lines. See that? Yeah, you see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my medium brush. This guy right here. Forgot what his name was. Lucy Lockwood McKenzie. Hi, sweetie. Is the pumpkin going off the canvas or will it be curved on the bottom? Great question, Kelly. The pumpkin is going off the canvas. And what we're going to do, honey, is we're going to add these little leaves at the bottom of the pumpkin. So, it, yes, it's going to go right off that canvas, Miss Thing. All right. There you go. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna have you guys take a little bit of red and I'm gonna have you mix it with half of your orange, okay? You guys are gonna make a tomato soup orange, all right? It just gives that orange a little something something, okay? So let me show you what that color looks like. Here we go. All right, I took a little, it's hard to tell on the computer, but I took a little bit of red, I mixed it in with my orange and I made a tomato soup orange. Okay, which is just like a reddish orange. All right, now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come in. Ooh, I know, huh? You like that little trick, don't you, Miss Kelly? And I'm gonna paint it, I got my medium brush. I'm gonna paint in each section as I drew that. So I got my tomato soup orange and here I go. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint in the middle finger that we drew first, okay? Now, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna cover those red lines, okay? Can you see that? Not covering the red lines. All right? I'm gonna try this brush, a little softer. Okay, so let's try this. There we go. We're gonna bring in this section. Okay, see that? And then I'm gonna do the same thing for every section of my pumpkin as I drew it. 
Okay, here comes the next section. I don't like this one either. So, here we go. So now I'm coming in and I'm painting this section right here. Okay, and again, I'm not covering up those red lines, all right? See that? There we go. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint in the next section of that pumpkin on the other side with that tomato soup. Okay, there's the next section. There we go. There. And if you guys are like me, you're getting a lot of black through the back of this. And that's notorious. When you're using reds and oranges, unfortunately, the products that they make sometimes are not the best. So I'm going to mix up some more of that tomato soup orange. And we're going to continue to paint those sections in. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. And that's okay. I went over that red line a little. That's all right. All right, we're painting in this. Do not worry if you are not getting good coverage because we will be going over this in one second. Or not one second, once it dries. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it around on this side. There. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'm talking to my painting and not you. <laughs> Sometimes that's good to talk to your painting. It's less naughty if you talk to it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get those last two sections just like this. Okay, there's number one. And here's number two. All right. Now, once you guys get that whole pumpkin painted in, just like I did, just like that, all right, we're going to go back to the cat eye. Because now the cat eye's dry. Any kids on here cover their eyes? Mama, we need in-house help. <laughs> Okay? <laughs> okay. There you go. See that? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. We got our pumpkin painted in. First coat. All right. Now, what you guys are going to do next? Yes, sir. What you're going to do next is we're going to go back to the cat eye. Okay? And what I'm going to have you guys do, you're going to grab the little brush just like this. See this? Ooh, little titty, titty brush. See this little guy right here? Yes. Okay. And right in the center of this eye. I don't know if you guys are big J.R. Tolkien fans or not. But if you've seen Lord of the Rings, you're going to bring in the Eye of, I forgot what his name is, the Eye of Mordor, or whatever the heck his name is, okay? And what this is, is, this is one of these little 
fears in the kitty's eye. Look at this. Hold up. I'll show you what it looks like in one second. Can you see that? The eye of Saruman. <laughs> okay, it's basically like an elongated end of a knife. All right, that's what it looks like. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint that whole thing in black. All right, just like this. The Eye of Cerebon. Okay, you want that long and powerful and spear-like. Hold on one second. And yes, that is angled just a little bit. It's angled towards the side, see that? Whoops, I just put my finger in pumpkin. Can you guys see that? Just like that. Ooh, scary. I know, I know. Okay? And once you guys get that done, once you get that spooky fierce eye in the center, all right? What you're going to do is you're going to grab your medium brush, okay, this guy right here. And what I'm going to have you do, if you guys did your eye in yellow, I'm going to have you take a little bit of yellow, mix it in with a little bit of orange or whatever color you might have done your eye in, you want to make it like one hue darker, okay? So if you guys did it in yellow, okay, you're gonna make just a light orangish yellow. Mix it with a tiny bit of orange, okay? And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna come in next to this eye, okay, with this brush, and you're just gonna pull that orange right in the center on either side of that eye of cinnamon. Okay, so it's not dramatic. It is just a subtle, okay, see this? Woo, look at that. All right, can you see that? Just a little bit, okay, towards the center. All right. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right, just a little bit in here. Hold on, you guys, my, my, my Irishmen are going crazy. Woo! <laughs> Okay, and what you want this to be is you want this to be very subtle. So, um, can you see how dramatic that effect is? Well, I'm gonna grab a little yellow on my brush. I'm gonna wipe off my brush. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little yellow, and then I'm gonna pull that together here. Okay, so that it's not so dramatic. I'm gonna blend in that color right into the natural color. All right, because you don't want it to stand out. You just want to have the center of that eye piercing, okay? Can you see how I blended that in with the regular yellow? All right, I'm gonna do that same thing on the other side. Okay, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Pulling that orange through just blending it in so you can still see it, okay? You can still see that piercing orange, but it's not so evident, all right? Can you see? Yeah, baby, that kitty eye is starting to come together, isn't it? Okay, now, hopefully, your pumpkin, you know what we're gonna do with this pumpkin? Hell with it. This is what we're going to do. Otherwise, we could be adding like five or six coats to this, okay? Got, you guys are going to grab your big brush, all right? 
and you're going to come in and each section and you're going to paint each section with white first okay if you ever have a problem where you're not getting coverage that you need and again sometimes my orange gives me great coverage and sometimes if it's had a little bit of heat or cold it gives me really bad coverage okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna paint each section of my pumpkin white all right I'm going to say heck with it. I'm not going to fight with you and I'm not going to put 27 coats on there. I'm just going to come in and paint you white. And you know what? What you, happens is you learn every time you make a mistake or every time. Oh, hi, Ashlyn. How are you? Rhonda Jen or I think I'm going to get your name mixed up. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay um so hello ashlyn how are you honey i just read a comment on there and somebody's being naughty <laughs> okay so whenever you're having problems with coverage always put a um a layer of white on there okay use a layer of white it's just kind of like a primer when you guys are priming your house right you having problems with coverage yeah put a layer of primer on there right tint that primer all right so i'm tinting my primer right here adding a little bit of white now if you guys do not have to do this if you're having good coverage in that pumpkin if you're not having good coverage in that pumpkin, this is what you're going to do to fix it. You're going to grab a little white, put that on the pumpkin. Okay? And then I'm going to grab my little brush. And I'm going to hit those two sections in the bag. Look at that. Boom. And this gives you guys a better idea of what I did in each section. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to add that little white there. All right. There. Boom. Okay, see that? All right. Now I'm going to let that dry. Then when I go in there with my tomato soup orange, it's going to be amazing. It's going to cover it right up. It's going to be like yippee skippy. <laughs> Glenda Wilson, no matter what your kitty looks like, you're going to send me a picture. <laughs> she's so naughty okay now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you guys grab that medium brush you're gonna grab a little any monster actually I don't remember what oh Ken Ken me old boyfriend Ken <laughs> okay now, what you're going to do next is you're going to take this medium brush with a little bit of your eye color on one side and a little bit of white on the other side. See that? Your eye color on one side and white on the other. So how big is the cat? That's a pumpkin in front of it. Well, it's a Halloween cat. Okay, so here you go, Rhonda Jankowskiewicz. You can see how the pumpkin, it's supposed to be a Halloween cat peering over a pumpkin. So the cat is actually quite large, okay, in this one. All right, now what we're going to do next is you guys are going to take that white and that yellow and you're going to come in this eye, okay? And you're very gently on the bottom of that eye, you're going to brush in that white and yellow. Okay, see this? Woo, look at that. See that? See how that actually gives that eye some depth and dimension? Okay, look at that. Ooh, baby. She's starting to get spooky. 
Okay, can you guys see that? So that's what we're going to do in the bottom of the eye. And then in the top of the eye, you guys are going to wipe off that medium brush. All right, you're going to grab some full-on white and right across the top of this pupil. Hopefully there's no gray in it. I do get a little gray. You guys are going to go like this. And you're going to add one of these. Okay, I'm going to bring this color back. I made a little doo doo. Go. Okay, there you go. Boom. You make a little bit of white dash up there, and look at that. Now, your crazy Halloween kitty eye is complete. Can you guys see that? There's the nose right there. There's the kitty eye. I'm standing back. Ooh, it's scary. Okay, can you guys see that? Yes, sir. All right, now, what we're going to do next is we're going to focus on that pumpkin. Okay? Should be dry now. We're going to grab our medium brush or our large brush. Here we go. I'm going to grab the big boy. I'm going to come in. I've got that beautiful tomato soup color. Here we go. Tomato soup orange. Quite a bit of it because we're going to need it. Okay? That dark orange. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to paint each section of that pumpkin as we drew it. Okay? And can you guys see? Amazing. You guys have probably are getting amazing coverage this time. All right. Here we go. Go grab a little more. I'll do this. Loosen her up a little so that I get the paint consistency I want. Gonna come in. I want to paint it again. The next section. And for the sake of time, I am going to dry this with a hair dryer. So here we go. There's the next section of my pumpkin. And we're doing them all with that tomato soup orange. Okay. There we go. I'm going to grab a little more. Stay back here. Now, for the sake of time, you guys, I am going to... Dry this off with my hair dryer before I give it a second coat. There's my first coat. Dry her off. That's what you do when you get coverage problems. <laughs> That's right, Rhonda. <laughs> That's right. Halloween cats are big and burly, lady. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it this. We're going to give it the hair dryer treatment. Yes, Rhonda, Halloween cats are big and burly. They're 11 feet tall. Halloween cats eat pumpkins for breakfast. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. 
All right, now I'm mixing up another batch of that uh, tomato soup orange for my second coup. They do. They're like, oh, pumpkin, I'm going to eat you because I'm a Halloween kitty. All right. So, again, I'm making, mixing up another batch of that um, tomato soup orange, and I'm going to give my pumpkin a second coat. Okay, here we go. Boom. Now, now I've got the coverage I was looking for. Yeehaw! Look at that. Oh, power, power. Okay. And again, you're trying to leave as much of those original lines as possible. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully you guys aren't having the crazy coverage issues that I'm having tonight. But if you are, we solve the problem. We crack that nut like that. There we go. And here's this section. There we go. There's that. Look at that. Woo! Now we got the orange. Orange, we're glad we used orange now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, good, Ron. I'm glad, honey. I'm glad you like me, Owl. There we go. Okay. There's that. We'll get that back section. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Now we've got this beautiful, crazy, bright orange pumpkin. I'm going to give it the blow dryer. So that we can get this painting done before 10 o'clock tonight. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, baby. Woo! That's right. That's right. I can't believe I'm cheating tonight. I never do this, but I'm cheating. Here we go. Try it right on. You show that pumpkin who's the boss. That's right, I'm your boss, pumpkin lady. I'm the boss. I'll show you. All right, here we go. You're going to grab a little bit of white. You're going to mix it with some orange. Make a nice creamsicle orange color. Okay, just a little bit. Mix a little bit with that, uh, with that um, pumpkin orange. Lighten her up a little. Okay, wonderful. And then out of the darker yellow in the eye, was it round? or did it angle up to a point? When you added the darker yellow in the eye, was it round? Oh, so what I did, Kelly, was I took that darker yellow, honey, and I just whisked it in on both sides. And then what I did, sweetie, was I took that original color and I blended it in. So you can see how the center of that eye has a little bit and what it does what that that darker color does in the eye is it rounds out the eye you know what i mean so that's what i did honey i wisp a little bit of darker orange around that black line and then i blended it in with yellow on the ends okay girl all right now with this creamsicle orange i'm going to take my medium brush okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come around and here we go look at this i'm bringing that creamsicle right around here i'm whisping it in the top of the pumpkin see in each section just like that 
okay? And I'm going to come around. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just in the top of that pumpkin. There. See that? Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Wisping in that creamsicle orange right there. There. Ooh, baby. Okay. And then I'm going to wisp it in on this side, right along the top of that line, so that it looks like I have light on the top of that pumpkin. And same thing over here on this section. There. Look at that. Yeah. Now I got some light on me pumpkin. Okay? Just like that. Okay? And then what you guys do, where do you get your horns for the video? Believe it or not, <laughs> Rhonda, I felt I was, I was, I went to, I was looking for a storage unit and I wanted one that was old and sturdy. So I went to Goodwill hoping that they may have some old, weird, sturdy furniture. And all of a sudden, all these Halloween costumes were there and I was like, holy crap, those are so cool. I never see anything like them. So your local Goodwill. <laughs> That's what I'd say. That's what I'd recommend. Okay. Now you guys are going to take some orange. All right. And you're going to come up. This is straight up orange from the bottom. And you're going to whisk this into your pumpkin. So the only part of this pumpkin that's going to stay dark is the center part, okay? Same thing over here. Whisping a little orange up, just like this. Yeah, baby, right from the bottom. Look at that. Woo-wee! Now she's coming together. Okay, whisping a little orange up from the bottom there. There you go, look. Just sweeping it in. Oh, that pumpkin's starting to look good, isn't it, guys? Yes, it is. Okay, now you're going to sweep it up from the bottom there. Little bit over here, same thing. All right. There. Now, if you happen to lose the original lines of your pumpkin, which I did because I had to put 27 coats on there. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to bring back those lines, okay? There we go. Woo, look at that. Okay, you're going to bring back those original pumpkin lines. I'm going to add a little bit of white in here too. I just want to make sure that I get that pumpkin highlighted the way I want it. So I'm adding a little bit of white on the top and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Woo! Look at that. Okay. Now we've got the highlights that we're looking for. See that? Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do next is if you lost your original lines, your original paint lines, we're going to bring them back. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to grab some red and I'm going to come in and I'm going to redraw my pumpkin lines. Can you guys see that? There they go. Here they come. I'm redrawing those pumpkin lines. I'm bringing them back. Bringing that pumpkin back to life. Here we go. With these original pumpkin lines. Woo! Look at that. And here we go. Retracing those lines just like that. Okay. Each section of that pumpkin. I'm coming back to mama. That's right. We don't want no stinking ugly pumpkin. 
Okay, and then the little boobly chongs in the back. Look at that. All right, see that? Gorgeous. We got that nice rounded pumpkin now. All we need now is a stem. <laughs> so, what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to hold on. While I went and grabbed my brown. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of brown in there. And what you guys are going to do with this brown is you're going to carve along what I like to call the belly button of the pumpkin. Okay, that's this section right here. You're going to go above that red line, just like that. See that? So you're basically just carving a line, you're putting a line above each of those sections of that pumpkin. And then you're going to come up, Woo! that's right, here we go, look at that. We're going to bring it up into a cute little pumpkin stem, can you guys see that? All right, I'll add a little white so you guys can see it better. You're going to paint in that pumpkin stem just like this. Woo, here it comes, here it comes. There you go. And Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater had a pumpkin stem. There we go. Can you guys see that? There's my pumpkin stem. Okay, see that? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, clean off my brush, and I'm going to add a few black lines in the center of my pumpkin stem. Look at this. One, two, and three. Look at that. Three black lines in the center of that pumpkin stem. See those up close? There you go. You got those in there? And now, this is the cool part. In order to make that stem stand out, I'm going to take a little bit of white on my brush, and I'm going to go in between each one of those black lines. One, two, and three. There we go. So you're going to mix that white in with the black. And look at that. Now that pumpkin stem stands out, doesn't it? Yes. Ah. Perfect, you guys. And that's how you make a beautiful pumpkin stem. One that's going to come out and go, da, grab you, right? Grab you on the halloween -y. All right, and now the last thing that we're going to bring into this thing is these pretty little leaves. See these guys right here? Our little pumpkin leaves, that's right. Okay, so what you guys are going to do first, 
okay? If this pumpkin isn't 100% dry, which mine isn't because I added in those red lines again, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a two-second dry with this. Right on the bottom. Boom, ba -da, boom, ba -da, boom, ba -da, boom, ba -da. going to add my first leaf in just like this. Okay, now the leaf is a bit like an almond. Okay, can you see that's your first leaf? Looks just like a teardrop and what you guys are going to try to do is avoid those kitty whiskers. Okay, so there's your first leaf. Oh, I got my leaf in. I got my leaf in. It looks like a kitty eye, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. And then you guys are going to add another leaf right on top of this one, just like this. There's number two right there, sitting right behind the first leaf. Got it. You can do this. I can do leaves in my sleep. How you doing? How you doing there, uh, Glenda Wilson? <laughs> oh, I love my Glenda Wilson. She's a nut. She's a big old nut. All right, and then we'll add another leaf coming in from this side, right, that comes over just like this. Woo! Okay, we'll add it, we'll bring it down on the bottom. Look at that little croaking bush. Fish ya. Looks like a little fish. See that guy? All right. And once I get my leaves in, I'm going to grab my medium brush. Do it like this. My medium, I can't remember what his name is. I think it's, uh, oh yeah, that's Ken. Going to paint in those leaves the way that I drew them. So this one first. Go, go. There we go. Again, a very light touch. There's my first leaf. Okay, and then I'm going to come in, I'm going to paint in my second leaf, just like I drew it. There's this guy. Woo-wee! Yes, sir! Yippa, yippa, hotelé! You make noises, you talk to your painting, it comes out better. Hi, huh, you guys? Yes, it does. I can't talk to your faces, so I gotta talk to my painting. There's my second leaf. Awesome. Now we're gonna do the third leaf. Third little fishy fishy coming out on this side. Paint that baby in. Make sure I'm wrapping that leaf around the side like this. Okay, there's that one. And then what you guys are going to do is you're going to take a little bit of white. Okay, a tiny bit of white on your brush. And while that leaf is still wet, you are going to just a little bit. Work that white into the top half of that leaf. Look at that. You're like, Nicole, what are you talking about, girl? Okay, you're going to put a little line down the middle. 
Whoop. There we go. Look at that. So there's my first leaf. We've highlighted that one. Can you guys see that? Yes. Now you're seeing it. Now you're seeing it. Okay. That may be a little bit too much highlight. And if it is, all you got to do, add a little green on top. Okay, if it's too too light for you, you just add a little green on top, just like that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, there we go. Work in that green. All right, bring that dark green on the bottom. There. Okay, there's my first highlight. And then I'm going to do the same thing to my next leaf. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of white, just a tiny bit. Look at that much. Bring it into the top of that leaf, just like this. Work that right into the green. There. There's number two. Number two leaf, that is. <laughs> Look at that bugger. Okay, now I've highlighted my second leaf. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight my third leaf. Tiny bit of white, just that much, okay? And we're going to bring it into the top of that leaf. Nice and gentle like. Look at that. Letting that light touch that leaf. See that? Woo! Woo-wee baby! And there you go. There are your pumpkin leaves. Peter, Peter, Pumpkinina. And a Halloween kitty and didn't want it because it was me. <laughs> okay, now, once you get your leaves done, okay? And if you guys, hopefully all you guys have been using that pause feature. Okay, because the last thing that we are going to do on this, if you choose, okay, we're going to give this the pumpkin curlies. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Right from the middle. Here we go. Woo! That's right. Look at that. Pumpkin curly, baby. Okay, if you need to go over it a second time. You could do that. A rat, that's right. You're going to give that pumpkin its curlies. He earned them. He earned them from Farmer Joe. See that? There's one. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to give him another pumpkin curly coming right out of here. Woo! All right, there's my second pumpkin curly. I'm not thinking, I'm just giving him the curl. All right, woo, yeah. Okay, see that? Now, in order to highlight these pumpkin curlies, I'm gonna put a little bit of white on the tip of my brush, bring it through. Okay, it's got to be much smaller, much lighter than your original line. Okay, see that? Ooh. Okay, and that just gives it that little finishing touch so that that curly stands out just a little bit. It's a nice, faint white line. You're just highlighting. You're not covering the green line. Okay, and if you do put too much coverage, like see this one, I've got too much white on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some green and I'm going to work those two colors together and look at that. There we go. See that? Love it, Nicole. Seniors would have, seniors would have loved it too. Yes, I know it. I know it, my beautiful 
my beautiful, beautiful Lori Sanders. Okay, you guys, and guess what? Once you get those leaves in, you've got that awesome kitty, you've got your beautiful pumpkin and your pumpkin curlies, your masterpiece is complete. Yes, it is, and you nailed it. You say to yourself, meow, 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 Halloween kitty. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I can't wait to see you again. Uh, next weekend, I won't be here. But again, two weeks, we're going to be doing this. Okay, we're going to be doing these cute little kitties on the fence. Difficulty is a little bit less, a little bit less difficult than the Halloween kitty. Okay, I love you guys. I'll miss you. Hopefully, I'll see you live soon. Please don't forget to send me your paintings, okay? Mwah! Happy Halloween! -y. Love you guys! Whoops, not that one. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs>